Hey everybody, Vicky here from Tales from the Trails and this is, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while but I've been putting off because of spoilers, people don't like the uh, the quest getting spoiled but it has been several years since Red Dead Redemption 2 has been out so we are doing it. Essentially what I'm going to do is take you through what you need to do for each quest and at the end we're going to summarise what we have learned in this quest and the information within it so far. So let's get on with it. So essentially what we're going to be doing, we're going to be heading out with Dutch into the really cold, dark, bleak wastelands around Coulter. This part essentially teaches us how to ride our horse as our character, how to keep up with other players if you're playing online. But what we're going to be doing here is story, it teaches you how to ride faster, slow down, keep up with other riders. Even in story mode, it also shows you how to interact with them as well. You know, you can talk with them. You meet other characters along the way. And we head out as a trio. It teaches us here how to move up if we're, you know, traveling in a group. And how to drop back as well. I'm going to head down this hill to this little uh, homestead. Again, it teaches us to hitch your horses up and how to hide behind objects. We're taking cover behind this little wall, I guess. We can peek out, keep an eye on what's going on. We are listening to the conversation which is going on at the moment between Dutch and what we now know is the O'Driscolls, a, a rival gang teaches us to move around and look at our surroundings and the people around. So we know what's going on as well as, you know, the story itself. And now we know something isn't right and normal and dandy and we have to protect Dutch. We take out our weapon and it is our choice to engage. We aim with, in this case, L2 and we shoot with R2. It is different for PC and it's different for other consoles. We reload with the circle. It's telling us where to take people out. Like they're in the window, they're coming around the back. I always aim up slightly. I never use the dead eye, or very rarely use the dead eye. Just aim up a little bit, you tend to get a headshot. It's just how to climb over things, how to run, how to sprint and take down people running away who took a flying jump over that fence which was quite impressive to be fair. Our leader Dutch is not happy that we uh, engaged but eventually he understands why. So we're going to take orders and we're going to head into the house and have a look what has been happening. under the orders of searching for things to take with us, tools, aid, consumables, anything to help the camp which we have just left and we will be going back to. So we look in chest of drawers, we look in cupboards and yes you can use them through the wheel, the item wheel. Like so. It does teach us about our health bar and the stamina bar as well later on. We're going to head over here. It shows us how to examine objects as well. We can flip them over and put them down, pick them up. Gives us a little more, bit more information. Who it is and when it happened on the back. It was a wedding photograph going to carry on and have a look around all the parts of this particular building. We can inspect here and we find a bunch of blood. It continues a little conversation. We can take the canned vegetables and the fruit and all sorts we can find around the building itself. Search cabinets. We'll be doing a lot of this in the future. 
definitely worth having a look around. We're just going to speed this up and carry on searching around the building. And then we're going to meet up with the other two characters, Dutch and Micah, outside after you know, we're having a good look around. We do pick up a cigarette card, which is a collectible as well. I'm going to head outside now and continue. So we're told to go have a look at the barn down here and head down there. Once we reach the barn, we can open the barn doors, pressing the indicated, you know, buttons at the bottom right of your screen. Head on in. And we are jumped by one remaining O'Driscoll. Apparently we shot his cousin, which is very unfortunate. But makes sense why he's so adrenaline fueled at this point. So we learn how to fist fight. We learn there are a lot of different options to fighting in game itself. We are given the choice by Dutch here on how to take further the actions against this guy. We interrogate him and choose our options, let's say, to get more information out of him. And we keep going. Until we get all the information. Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. And Dutch you essentially informs you? us he doesn't care what happens to the guy. We can either let him go or take him out of this world. So once you have made your decision, you can now pick up your hat. Your hat falls off quite often when you're in a battle. We dropped our weapon as well. We're going to pick that up, pick up our hat, put it back on. And we're going to target the horse, calm it down, approach it, pet it, and we're going to lead it out of the stable. I'm just going to speed this bit up so we can get back to the house. As we get back, there is a bit of a ruckus going on and Micah found a lady in the basement hiding and he assumes it's one of the gang members' ladies and it is not. It is, in fact, let's say the wife of the murdered man outside. And so, essentially, that is all you need to do for the first episode. They take the lady back to the camp and the story continues. And it is the lady who was in the photograph we picked up while we were exploring the camp. The camp? Exploring the homestead even, I'm sorry. We get back to camp and everybody bellies round and takes in Miss Adler. So let's summarise what we have learnt to do so far. We have learnt how to match a speed with another rider on horseback. We have learnt how to ride faster and slow down. We've also learnt how to focus on people and communicate with them on horseback. We have learnt how to move up and down through a formation when riding in a group. We've learnt how to hitch a horse. We've learnt how to take cover and also to peek out of cover and jump over an obstacle to you know, get out of that cover. We've also learned how to aim, how to shoot and how to reload our weapon. We've learned how to climb over objects and how to run and sprint as well. We have learned how to pick up items, examine and interact with certain items or scenes and also how to open and close cabinets and doors and cupboards and things to find items in. We've learned how to climb up and down ladders, how to open and close doors, how to focus and interrogate other characters, that's where we were questioning and beating and choking and sparing the O'Driscoll cousin, um, how to grab other characters and if you have dropped your weapon and your hat, how to pick them up and adorn them as well, that's put them on. We have also learned how to calm and pet a horse and also lead one. 
As from the story itself, we have learned several things. We have learned that the gang has had losses within the gang itself. They have lost people they have loved and they are escaping from a dire situation. They have stumbled upon Cold to this area that they leave the majority of the gang in. We have learned we are Arthur Morgan. We have learned that Dutch is the leader and we have learned there is a person called Micah who found a homestead. We go to that homestead and encounter a gang called the O'Driscolls, which, you know, we apparently don't like. And we also pick up a horse and also a lady whose husband was unfortunately murdered at the homestead. We learn that the gang is fair and they take the survivor back to Coulter, keep her looked after, clothed, fed and cared for, even though their supplies themselves are at a minimal level. So there you go. Be sure to come back for the next part. Hope you enjoyed this video. Find it useful in some way, shape or form. If you don't subscribe already, please do so. And happy trails out there.